Seven Deadly Sins, Pride. This one is going to need an explanation. Step number one, we are going to clarify that we are using a washable glue stick and only a washable glue stick to cover up our eyebrows. And then applying foundation for no reason other than I like to have it on underneath my body paint. And using the Made You Look body paint in the color Yeti, which is available on my website, I will link in the description below. I am applying it everywhere. Using the Made You Look body paints in the color Neptune, I'm then applying it to my bald cap. Now this is not the particular paint that you want to use on a bald cap, so if you're not used to working with it or if you actually need to apply it for an event, I wouldn't use water activated paints on a bald cap. I'm just used to working with it and that's what I have. As I go along, I'm also slowly mixing in the color Yeti in with the blue and then it's getting lighter and lighter as I go down my face. I also decided the top of my head needed to be a little bit darker than I originally made it, so I mixed together Neptune and ink. Just to make everything blend a little bit better, even though it was already pretty blended, I just went over everything using an airbrush. By the way, if you're doing this, please just clean your airbrush now as you go along. Don't let the paint get all gunked up in it. Trust me, I am saving you a huge hassle. Just do it now. Now here's where I think I need to explain this a little bit. When it came to coming up with the concepts for the Seven Deadly Sins series, the most difficult sins that I had trouble with were envy and pride. Now originally I had more of a zombie, undead, plastic surgery sort of route for pride, which makes sense in the sense that I was going more so if you commit this sin what demon you would actually encounter. And I wanted that surgery demon to just represent that they're gonna keep injecting you and keep changing you and keep changing what you look like to keep up with the times and keep up with popularity. And while overall I thought that it was a good concept, I've kind of done things like that in the past and I also didn't want to cross the line of implying that like plastic surgery is bad because really, I mean, it's your choice. So while my concept was originally that you have everlasting torture of plastic surgery in the afterlife, I I wasn't sure how it was gonna read. I then decided to head over to the Google and looked up what animal is actually associated with pride. Turns out that it's a peacock, which is what I thought that it was, but I wasn't 100% sure on that. Nor did I know if anybody else was gonna know that. So while my peacock concept doesn't have as much of a backstory as my original character did, as soon as I thought of a peacock demon, I was sold. I've never seen anything like it. And so here we are. And admittedly at this point of doing the voiceover, I have no idea where we are in the tutorial. So in a quick recap, draw Easter eggs all over yourself, make them look feathery, and ta-da, peacock. Kind of like a Dr. Seuss drawing, except it's not at all. Like green eggs and ham, but there's no ham. And the eggs are hard boiled, and they're blue and not green. And they look like feathers, so I guess not, nothing like, nothing like green eggs and ham. <laughs> More like a peacock. <laughs> Thank you so, so incredibly much for all of the love on the Seven Deadly Sins series. It seriously means so much to me. I am so ecstatic about it. I actually made TikToks to go with almost every single sin. So make sure you follow me on TikTok as well because I'm so excited to post those. I'm actually gonna edit it right after this video. By the time you're watching this, it's already edited and I'm so happy with it. <laughs> I already know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. <laughs>